God bless you. So we're going to open, we're going to start in Malachi. We're going to start in chapter 3 of Malachi. And we're going to go from verse 16. You want to ponder these words and think on them. Study them. Grow in your learning and understanding. In your dedication to God. In your faith in God. In your trust in God. Let God guide you so that the world does not deceive you. Build that relationship. Pray and trust in God. Put your faith in Him. Look at all the things Jesus did. He is your template, your example. Learn from me for my yoke is light. So learn from Jesus. For He is the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through Him. And we don't want to be practices of lawlessness. So, let's study from verse 16 of chapter 3 in Malachi. Then those who feared Yahweh talked to one another about this. And Yahweh took note and listened. And a book of remembrance was written. In his presence, recording those who feared him and kept his name in mind. On the day when I act, says Yahweh Sabbath, they will be my most prized possession, and I shall spare them in the way a man spares the son who serves him. Then, once again, you will see the difference between the upright person and the wicked one, between the one who serves God and the one who does not serve him. For look, the day is coming, glowing like a furnace, all the proud and all the evildoers will be stubble, and the day when it comes will set them ablaze says Yahweh Sabbath, leaving them neither root nor branch. But for you who fear my name, the Son of Justice will rise with healing in his rays, and you will come out leaping like calves from the stool, and trample on the wicked, who will be like ashes under the soles of your feet. On the day when I act, says Yahweh Sabbath, remember the law of my servant Moses, to whom at Horeb I prescribed decrees and rulings for all Israel. Look, I shall send you the prophet Elijah before the great and awesome day of Yahweh comes. He will reconcile parents to their children and children to their parents. To forestall my putting the country under the curse of destruction. So, as you see here, God is warning between the upright and the wicked one here. Now, if you were to look at this in a New King James, it would be between the righteous and the wicked. Now knowing this, one must stand up and ponder God's will. For you see here, those who feared Yahweh talked to one another about this. And Yahweh, here it says, took note and listened. So those thinking on these things, there's a book of remembrance and it's being written in it and recorded. For there are those that fear God and those that do not. Those that don't consider the will of God. And we should be humble 
and obedient. For obedience and love, trust, faith, devotion. Love one another as I have loved you. That's what Jesus said. So live in love. And remember, it's to love your Father in heaven with all your heart, all your strength and all your mind. So seek first the kingdom and his righteousness. Love God with all your heart, your mind, your strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. Love as you would want to be loved. Do unto others as you would want done unto yourself. So, as you see this, the day when God comes, where all the proud and the evildoer will be the stubble, and they will be set ablaze, and there will be neither root nor branch left. But for those who fear my name, do you fear God? Think about that. Where are you at? We need to get right with our Father in heaven. For he knows everything we do. So if we know we do something wrong, about turn, repentance, stop and turn. Ask the Holy Spirit to work in you. For his righteousness, when he puts his spirit in you, it will lead you, guide you, strengthen you, teach you and show you what way to go. It will be up to you to listen. So seek God's righteousness to work in you. For there will come a time for those who fear my name, the son of justice will rise with healing in his rays. And you will come out leaping like calves from the stool. Leaping, coming out joyously, rejoicing in that day. They will trample on the wicked. So remember this. And what does he tell us here? Remember the law of my servant Moses, to whom at Horeb I prescribed decrees and rulings for all Israel. Now, if we now come back into Deuteronomy, we'll now look back and what do we see in Deuteronomy? I believe it's chapter 5. Give me one moment, please. In Deuteronomy chapter 5. Where are we? I believe it's at the beginning. So, at chapter 5 at the beginning, Moses called all Israel together and said to them, Listen, Israel, to the laws and customs that I proclaim to you today. Learn them and take care to observe them. Remember, we are grafted in. So, learn, observe. Remember the Ten Commandments. So, Yahweh our God made a covenant with us at Horeb. Yahweh made this covenant, well, not with our ancestors, but with us. With all of us alive here today. So... Seek God. And what are the Ten Commandments? Let's go into Exodus. We're going to go to chapter 20. So if we scroll back to Exodus chapter 20. And it's going to be from verses 1 to 17. Now where are we? Then God spoke all these words, and he said, I am Yahweh your God, who brought you out of Egypt, where you lived as slaves. You shall have no other gods to rival me. You shall not make yourself a carved image or any likeness of anything in heaven above or on earth beneath or in the waters under the earth. 
you shall not bow down to them or serve them. For I, Yahweh your God, am a jealous God, and I punish a parent's fault in the children, the grandchildren and the great-grandchildren among those who hate me. But I act with faithful love towards thousands of those who love me and keep my commandments. Keep his commandments. Learn. Grow. Seek the love of God in your life. You shall not misuse the name of Yahweh your God. For Yahweh will not leave unpunished anyone who misuses his name. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. For six days you shall labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath for Yahweh your God. You shall do no work that day. Neither you nor your son nor your daughter nor your servants, men or women, nor your animals, nor the alien living with you. For in six days Yahweh made the heavens, earth and sea, and all that these contain, but on the seventh day he rested. That is why Yahweh has blessed the Sabbath day and made it sacred. Honor your father and your mother, so that you may live long in the land that Yahweh your God is giving you. You shall not kill, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not give false evidence against your neighbour, you shall not set your heart on your neighbour's house, you shall not set your heart on your neighbour's spouse or servant, man or woman, or ox or donkey, or any of your neighbour's possessions. So... These were the commandments that he told Moses to give to his people. And Moses was a faithful servant. Now, as we continue, what do we see in Deuteronomy chapter 11 verse 1? What must you do? Let's find out. You must love Yahweh your God. And always keep his observances, his laws, his customs, his commandments. So let's grow in God. Be at peace following him. Be joyous in the circumcision of the heart. For when you receive the Spirit, it will work in you and guide you and convict you. And you will grow as you learn. So spend your time in the Bible. Read and call on God. Study diligently, be Bereans. The Bible is full of nourishment. Be as a sponge and absorb it all. Come to him as a faithful child willing to learn. Throw away and cast away pride and ego. Come to him as little children, for he is the father of all. May we work together in the body of Christ, being joyous and loving, uplifting one another, encouraging each other as we learn and grow together. Don't be disheartened in hardship. Seek his kingdom and his righteousness. For what we see in chapter 10 of Deuteronomy. We learn what God asks of you in verse 12. And now Israel, what does Yahweh your God ask of you? Only this, to fear Yahweh your God, to follow all his ways, to love him, to serve Yahweh your God with all your heart and all your soul, to keep the commandments and laws of Yahweh which I am laying down for you today for your own good. So, trust in God. He knows better than us. Without God we make mistake after mistake. Woe upon woe, trouble after trouble. 
We have many things to look back upon and go, oh, why did I do that? If only I knew now, back then, none of this would have happened. We always rely on our own understanding and things, and we always get it wrong. But when we trust in God, he will set our path straight. He will show you the way. He will lead. You just have to surrender to God. Let him guide you. His will be done. His kingdom come. Trust in him. Be emboldened in your faith. Encouraged. The love that Jesus has for you. Follow his example. Learn from him. Study your scriptures. Study the gospels. Be at peace with the peace that only Jesus may bring. This was just a short study. To help encourage. To learn. To be prepared. To be the faithful. To ponder the words of God. To be ready. To stand for the day of his coming. To always be faithful. No matter when that day may be. Fear. Fear. Our Father in heaven, that we do not sin. For if we love a parent, we do not wish to hurt them. The same as sin being something that hurts God. We don't want to hurt our Father by intentionally sinning. Seeking Him to straighten our path that we may learn and grow as He guides lovingly. I pray that you can ponder these words, study them for yourself. And grow in your faith. God bless you all.